width of our bar for our greenhouse door was 80 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and cut two of these sections at 80 inches. We're gonna cut another one at 80 inches here. So we're gonna go ahead and tape the two 80 inch sections together. And this will have a base for building off that door. All right, so we're cutting one of these in half. And this is basically gonna create 142 after we trim it up on this bottom side here. So we're gonna put half of this piece on that side, the other half on this side and tape those here, together. Like All right, we're gonna make this pipe for the bottom section at 13 feet, eight inches. And that's gonna be the pipe that holds the bottom of this back door to the ground and give it a little bit of weight to hold it down. Okay, now what we're doing here is we're taking the wrinkles out of the, uh, the, the plastic at the very top of the greenhouse. This is just gonna allow it to uh, be a more smooth uh, transition into that, that indoor and the greenhouse itself. We're gonna go ahead and snap two snap clamps to the top rail with just a little bit of holding on to that top section. Okay. okay. We're gonna go ahead and take a marker. We're gonna mark where we need to make our cuts. Building the cradle system for this back door section. Uh, if you come over here, we have slip tees we had put on when we built the greenhouse. The slip tees are right there. Then we had a two and a half inch section of PVC pipe. Uh, then we had a 90 degree L on both sides. This section here is roughly 45, 44 inches. It will change depending on your greenhouse. This section here, you're gonna slide two slip tees on, then you're gonna place this on each of these 90 degree elbows. And then after it's attached here, we're gonna show you the cradle system that your roll up door will lay on. All right, we have two foot and a half sections here going into your slip tees. We're not gonna glue them just in case we wanna change this later. So we're using uh, self tapping screws. All right, then you're gonna place an L 90 degree L right there. Uh, this section here, roughly three to four inches, just matters on your material. We're going a little larger since this is a large material that we're rolling up. From there, you're gonna have your 45 degree angle come right there, fully seated. You're gonna come out with another roughly three and a half inch section. Kind of line it up like that, fully seat it, end off with a cap. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. All right, these are done, but what we will do before we're finished here is we're going to uh, make sure these are held off here with snap clamps, fully seated to the side so they can't move back and forth. Then next, we're gonna be placing screws or glue in all these portions. We'll see how it works. Don't miss our new series coming out, taking these two greenhouses and comparing the temperatures and varying weather conditions to analyze the advantages of a double-walled greenhouse.